Greetings. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Yeah, I'm filming a new intro. You're probably all tired of looking at me flipping through the old versions of this. Anyway, Maybe one day I'll do like a Q&A or something. If you have any questions, shoot them to me. I am on Twitter. I'm also now on Instagram. And I've just been catching up season one of the Late Night Picture Show back in 2017, 2018. Just moving in to where I went from Florida to Utah and started back up again. So what I do here is I review movies. I'm a film critic. <laughs> Sometimes I sound like one. Really, I'm just a guy who loves old movies. Now, I'll tell you what happened. I watched all these movies when I was a kid. And then Mystery Science Theater 3000 came out. And they would show bits of these old movies with these... Well, you've seen it. Well, all, all that show made me want to do is watch the movies again. So I did. About 400 of them. Plus more. So, I started writing reviews back in 2006, posting them on my website. So maybe you've already had a sneak preview, but I doubt it. Because <laughs> you never saw my website. It wasn't actually mine. Nonetheless, I had these 400 movie reviews, and I had to do something with them. Now, what movies do I review? Well, I'm going to read it right here off the About section on my YouTube channel. Look, right there. Yeah, you can see that really good, huh? <laughs> too bright. Unlike me. So, here is my criteria for inclusion on the Late Night Picture Show. We have B-grade science fiction, classic horror, drive-in slash midnight movies, those were a thing back in the 70s, 80s, 90s. There's still one drive-in here in town. But I think they just play your regular blockbusters. They don't even have a midnight movie. They do have a swap meet on Saturday where you can buy nice velvet paintings. Anyway. Euro trash. We've done some of that recently. Exploitation, sexploitation, and I might add, nunsploitation. Some of you knew that was a thing. Early porn. Yeah, 70s porn. It was actually a movie. Not just doing it. Schlock cinema. Cult favorites. There's where you might find some modern movies. Cult favorites, or if I feel like it's destined to become a cult favorite, you might see it here. Bruce Campbell movies. You might say Murph, but every Bruce Campbell movie is a cult favorite. You might be right. You might be right. 
And also, I review remakes of said classics. Willard, Amityville Horror, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, War of the Worlds. I'm probably going to pull them with the original and kind of compare the two since I'm doing double features now. So, I also made a movie about this. And I'll probably replace it because it's filmed in my trailer back in Gibsonton. It's kind of dark. I didn't have these fancy lights over here. You've seen me pull out this bucket, and this bucket is full of now double features. So I pull a movie, well I pull a double feature from the bucket, and that's what we talk about. Down to about 360, 350 now, so that's the bucket. That's Monkey. He picks the movies. So, like I said in my review, or not my review, my about section here, and this was actually on the top of the page on my old, uh, on my old website, back in my circus days. Fun times. There will be spoilers here, but I won't give away the ending, especially spoiler ending, unless the movie's just so bad that it doesn't matter, like there's no way in hell you're going to see it. So, grab a cocktail, 2006, sit back on your sofa, and soak in the blue light with me. By the way, if you want to see a review of like Spider-Man 17 or whatever they're on, you're not in the right place. Pick up a newspaper, I don't know. Watch Siskel and Ebert. Wait. Siskel and Ebert are no longer with us. I don't even know who reviews movies on TV anymore. Instead of watching garbage like that, watch Joe Bob Briggs and Darcy the Mail Girl. Watch Sven Gulli. If you live in Utah here, watch Sci-Fi Friday on UEN. Watch anything on MeTV. Look at me, I'm like giving out plugs left and right. Thanks. And look through my uh, videos, see if you see any movies you want to know about. You might find out enough that you want to watch it. <laughs>